Regionals, a top eight cut. As we wait for our opponents to set up their matches, we got we are joined by Timbo Slice here. He's the uh, going to talk us a little bit about his previous match that just went on stream against Ryan F, who's joining us on stream one more time this match. So Tim, tell us a little bit about that match. We we heard your thoughts on what your process was. You were saying you wanted to murk down a, a gumbo as fast as possible aggressively, and you quite almost did that in the first round. There, you had one down to one health. But uh, how did you want to approach that match, that last matchup? Well, thanks for having me, Sumit, um, and, and hello to all the viewers today. Um, the, uh, the 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 difficulty in a list with the quick draw and the and the new boats is that you you have to not just consider the combat of the the match. You also have to consider points because each boat is worth twenty two points, so a pair of them is worth two points less than one of my casters. Um, I've played against the match a few times on Vassal and had better success than I did today. Um, but uh, yeah, I know Ryan flew it very well, and it was a, it was a good match, and, and he clearly uh, is going to have his work cut out for him in this match. So definitely. So yeah, Ryan was telling us a little bit about. He said he he, he wasn't so much about making the meta call. He just he was enjoying the way Shadowcast. Oh, sorry, the um, the boats flew and just having a good time with them. As an ex, he's an Aces player, so he likes the way they can slide and move around. But he just wanted something with some intense teeth because. We're seeing a lot of uh, high impact, high damage lists out there. So, what did you face on your on your run up to top sixteen uh, yesterday? No, I completely agree with you, Sumit. Shock and awe and fireworks have been a pretty thematically uh, consistent um, theme for mm -hmm. uh, for the for the, the thematically consistent theme. Whoa, uh, for the last two days, it's been uh, there's a lot. You either have a list that can outlast your opponent, a list that has guaranteed damage. Um, a list that, that um, has lots of fireworks, like in this case with the boats. I also really enjoy the boats. I really think that like, I've had a lot of uh, play with them as well. I mean, I'm partial to two big ships when I play mm -hmm. uh, competitively just because it's kind of like my jam. Mm -hmm. um, but, no, I think that um, this is interesting, too, because Ryan is, uh, is doing an almost identical setup to the way he played against me. I'm pretty sure I've actually played against I'm not certain what his Vassal name is, mm -hmm. but I'm pretty sure I've played against him on Vassal before. Um, yeah. Um, Alan's pass initiative, giving it to Ryan so he can put his uh, his OGP as far away from those nasty guys as possible, mm -hmm. which is probably a really good bet because I'm pretty sure that two Harpoon missiles could be the death of Palp. Um I mean, you're talking strategy in this matchup specifically. You think to yourself, "Do I trade to? Do I trade a boat for Palp? I would trade a boat for Palp. I absolutely, I would. I'd make that trade every day of the week. Mm -hmm. As far as what I had to get uh, to get up to uh, the top 16 yesterday, I had a pretty good day yesterday. Um, I think my most entertaining game of the game day yesterday was from one of the. Um, PCL members Mark Armstrong. Hmm. What was he running? Or was it Anderson? I always get them confused. Maybe Apologies, I'm... Mark, that I played yesterday. I always get you two confused. But Mark had a five ship Imperial list with a extremely underestimated um, firepower action economy. So it had two tie advanced with um, uh, advanced targeting computers, two tie advanced prototypes with title and uh, tracer missiles and a doom canoe. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> so you would go in there, thread trace or somebody, and then all of a sudden your ATCs and your and your target mm. locks are all active, and then you've got Vader to finish things off, keep your aces honest. It was a really fun list, and it was terrifying for me because I did the math, and I'm like, if he gets half health on one of my casters, I have to kill three of his ships to win. Mm, interesting. That's a lot of ships to have to chew through, especially when some of them have higher health like that. Yeah, I mean, in this match here, um, Alan's probably already looked across the table and done some of the math. So mm -hmm. Kylo is worth two boats, mm -hmm. which means that if Kylo can, if, if Alan can kill two boats and have Omega Leader alive, uh, Alan will win, because Omega Leader is worth more than a boat, and Kylo is worth more than Quick Draw. Um, so there's a lot of potential advantage for that. Interesting now that Ryan has committed quick draw to what looks like the shuttle. He's trying to cast as wide a net as possible. But the challenge for Alan here is that everything is in his court. Mm -hmm. The news just one forward take target locks Absolutely. on Kylo. And they can one forward next turn and change your target priority depending on what Alan does. 
Correct. He doesn't have, Ryan does not have to commit until turn three, potentially. See, in my when I was facing votes on Vassal, the reason I had so much success is because everybody was always telling me, oh, you should put countermeasures on your casters, man. It's so great. Countermeasures, you blow mm-hmm. the thing. I'm like, well, my, my, my strategy was always just range deny mm-hmm. the harpoon missiles, right? Because I've got a big base ship with either a three bank or a four, four, five, four, plus a boost mm-hmm. and fearlessness. So I'm right in there. I've range deny the things, and now they get fewer mods, no conditions, um, and it's just three die shots from the news, and plus I can probably pop one before they shoot. Right. Whereas Alan here can't really afford that type of aggressive um, play. He's given himself what looks like enough room for one barrel roll um, on the far side of Kylo to the mm-hmm. board edge, which is probably a pretty good call because... Now he might also be wor- he might also be banking on advanced sensors, boost forward, barrel roll, and then we'll go five straight to run right past them and then come in behind them with Kylo. He has to get behind them. It's his only chance in this match. If he if he accidentally finds himself in range, um, Kylo will just go poof. He's not unbeatable. He's not unkillable. He's 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 squirrely and hard to peg down. But when he's in arcs, he's, he just takes damage. Well, yeah, but primarily, what I think to me the, the biggest uh, advantage that Ryan has against Allen in this match is that I really can't think of one of the Kylo crits that's really that beneficial for Ryan at this point. Like you've got. Stunned pilot, where you can't go straight, yeah. maybe? I feel like getting quick draw down to a PS0 would be great. It's the only ship on the board that's higher PS than uh, than, than um, Kylo there. And, and as that's an arc dodging ship, it generally likes to be able to move left and, and see where it can place itself. So that might be the only crit that could be beneficial. But you're right. The news don't really care, except for maybe a blinded pilot. Um, they really don't care. But then they can just peel off and reload and take four turns to come back. And at that point, he could have already damaged Kylo again and, and drew out another crit on somebody else. So that condition is a, is a must. It's not a may. So each time Kylo is dealt damage for the first time around, he has to assign a new crit. Yeah, I mean, I agree with you. I mean, let, let's just run through the hyper uh, the hypothetics here for uh, hypothetics here mm-hmm. for a second. So let's say Alan uh, positions himself properly, and there's just say two boats in range of Kylo and quick draw. Quick draw sh- shoots at uh, Kylo, dodges it. Alan shoots back at Quick draw. Sorry, Kylo. Sorry, Quick draw shoots at Kylo. Mm-hmm. Does one shield. Alan applies the PS zero crit to mm-hmm. Quick draw. Great. Alan then shoots at Quick draw, applies the crit. Mm-hmm. Quick draw shoots back at him. Let's say he misses. Mm-hmm. Alan still then has to dodge two harpoon missiles. That's true. Fully modded. Absolutely. So. I really don't think that Alan's going to realize... Like, I, I know that Alan's going to realize it. What I'm trying to say is that I think that Alan is going to know that he can't rely on his pilot ability or the condition card to save him in this matchup. Absolutely, you're right. And I would be shocked and amazed if we see Alan use Palp on offense unless he's got no return shots in this game. I think Again, he's going to save Palp. I also agree. With you. I think Palp is almost exclusively going to be a defensive measure in this situation to help against the boats. Yeah. So Devin's back with a recon from the floor. Devo! Oh, absolutely. How are you doing, mate? I'm doing all right. I'm going to scoot right in here. It's all good, man. Thanks for inviting me on to talk at the end of the weekend. You guys apparently have been doing a great job. If I'm reading that correctly, Travis, that's 217 active viewers yep. from yeah, absolutely. both channels. So uh, good uh, Sunday afternoon to all you folks who are chiming in. Thank you to a couple of you guys chiming in on the chat about my game. That's it. Uh, I was just telling Sumit that I think I might have to change my name legally to Goderich, Ontario, because I am now the largest salt mine in the world. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. It's it's uh, it's X-Wing with your mates on uh, on the weekend. And, uh, and you know, I think that I was going to go to Canadian Nationals anyway. Who needs a buy, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. In fact, I think that um, if you look at the math from yesterday is all the people who had Store buys. championship buys. There's only uh, there's not too too many of them in the top cut now. Jackie made top sixteen. Yeah. yeah. Joe Silva missed a top cut missed. by fifty MOV, which yeah. if had he not taken a buy and hundred out his first opponent, he would have been in. Correct. So he's probably angry about that. Sorry, Joe. Didn't want to remind you the second time. I don't feel sorry for him at all. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Miranda. Well, I just I just spoke to both players. Okay. Actually, talking about the rocks was really interesting mm. because both said they wanted uh, wide rocks, but ended up changing their mind and trying to make it tight and then we have this mess where nothing neither of them really got what they wanted with the rocks right so alan wanted tight rocks so the gunboats couldn't keep formation mm-hmm. ryan wanted tight rocks because he wanted to prevent kylo from positioning okay. alan wanted open rocks and lanes for kylo to, to maneuver both he of... needs it he yeah. needs it but then he wanted close rocks to prevent the gunboats right and the gunboats wanted open so they could slam and get out of there so we have this really funky rock position oh alan don't go up that board edge man Alan, it's a, tra- <coughs> it's a trap. 
Alan said he's looking to kill Quick Draw. He's willing to trade the shell for quick draw on the first engagement. Almost. Oh, interesting. And he he thinks that any end game that has him one ship versus one ship, whether it's quick draw or Kylo or or sorry Kylo or Omega Leader, he's fine. He's like, I, I, if it's one versus one in the end, I'm fine. Right? I feel I believe uh, Alan's thought process on that is probably coming from the fact that he does have extensive reps with quick draw. That's right. basically what he was running: quick draw, Omega Leader, and, uh, and Quaze is what he's been running for most of the season up till now, and to great results. Um, he's won already won a regionals with that list. So, and to your point, Sorry, Tim, uh, earlier yeah. you were talking about Kylo's ability not saving him. It's never. It's 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 right. not going to save him at all in this match. So maybe a blinded pilot would help him if the circumstances were right, but that means he's using palp on offense and not saving it. Because you got to remember. Uh, Alan said maneuverability. Alan is does key not. With Kylo. Yeah, and Alan does not have the first order Vanguard title. Mm-hmm. No, like that is a Alan Fung balls to the wall. But He's gone through a tournament without the bloody title. Here's what we need to watch. Right, Alan believes that Ryan is going for a shuttle first. He thinks that that is going to be his primary target. Whereas you can clearly see here, he's probably realized his chain. He's, Ryan has got a different plan. The Ryan's idea was, yeah, I'm going to get three harpoons on on Kylo, and he'll probably be able to dodge one of them, but he he's not going to live through two harpoons. That's, that's not a bad thought process on Ryan's c- case. I mean, again, it, it yes, it's three of die auto thrusters, focus, and a palp, but that only saves you for one and a half harpoon missile, as we've seen time and time again on stream. As Tim noticed last round, sometimes you take, what, eight damage from one harpoon? Yeah. It happens. Sorry, not to... Not, no, to rub, not to rub it in. Not to rub the alcohol in the wound. It really just happened. You know, I they're, they're debilitating weapons. Like They really do hit hard. This goes to talk about our community a little bit, about how great guys you guys are and, and worrying about my feelings and all that. At the end of the day, guys, it is just a game. Mm-hmm. You know, we're having fun. Um, I'm not going to lie and say I wasn't disappointed about the result of the game that happened, but you know what? It doesn't mean that I'm... It's not like you're going to rage quit and, and flip the table, right? You, you just You look at a player like Ryan, who's been playing just as long as I have, and you know he's enjoying himself. Mm-hmm. Um, and I understand that some of our viewers are having some technical difficulties at home, just with regard to the Wi-Fi connection, guys. Thank you guys very much for uh, your patience and keeping with us. Uh, our, our producers from VWTV Live have definitely assured us that uh, the problems won't be persisting for too long. So just. Uh, Keep doing, on, we're uh, doing the best we can. Yeah, also, exactly. to remember that we are going to continue to cast this entirety of this match, and you will be able to find it on both on there's the Twitch after the fact and on uh, YouTube. So yeah. you will get the match coverage no matter what. So stick with us as long as you can. We're doing the best we can. We appreciate your understanding. And now, the, I uh, did want to have a quick chat about the other matchups. Okay. So we have... Uh, Do tell, because I heard that... Is there not a Nim Miranda mirror on one of the there, other top there, So we have... Uh, a Nimrand Amir, Aaron Dater, top in Swiss, who's uh, gone seven zero. Seven zero is uh, is repeating his uh, round six versus his uh, opponent in the mirror. I, I played right next to that match yesterday. It was a bloodbath. Like it was Absolutely. both of them just throwing bombs at each other like uh, a food fight in a school cafeteria. So one of the games is Nim Miranda Amir match. Then we have. Sorry, can you pull up the challenge just so that I can... Uh, we have Billy him. Chandler playing Kelvin Lau, which I... So we have Nim Miranda versus Nim Dengar. Which mm-hmm. is going to be, like, amazing. And then we have Pete Smith versus David Dole. And we've got, we got the Nim to see Pete Fen... On stream yesterday as well. Nim Fen Jostro. Yeah, we got to see both of them on stream. So round one... Jostero. Jostero. My boy. Uh, and uh, versus Dash Poe. So we have a Nim on every table except for this one. Which, and that's why... Which is why we chose this <laughs> one? Which is why we chose this Amazing. one. Amazing. <laughs> Alan had the only. He also has Kylo the only silencer well. in the, the top sixteen. The only silencer in the top sixteen, and the Absolutely. only and, and, and the only, uh, the only entirely arc based list. I, w- I wish no munitions, no bombs, no turrets, just arcs. I mean, yes, there's a palp in there, but again, this is to some of us, <clears throat> me, this is old school X-wing. I'm very happy to see it. Oh yeah, for sure. And you, you you say to yourself like it's a shame that the two imp guys had to play each other. Mm-hmm. But on the other hand, like this is means that Alan didn't pull one of the Nim Mirandas. Uh, they're ensuring an imp in the top four, is what which is very doing. good to which see. No great. matter who wins, we get to see a really cool list and a great player match on. And and that's the case for all of our top eight. We love all the contestants contestants who are here. Who we're playing, um, and it's been a great turnout. We're gonna see good players no matter what. Lament as we will to see uh, similarities in the list, but you can't blame the players for using the best tools to their advantage to get themselves this far. Why would you not play something that you think is the best? What, are you going to bring a knife to a gunfight? Absolutely. You're going to do the best thing you can. And as we can continue to talk, as you were saying, it looks like Ryan has changed his tune, and he's just going to be like, all right, Kylo, if you're not going to... 
if you're no, not going to flinch. Was Ryan's, that was Ryan's plan. He's you're like, not I want flinch, three harpoons on Kylo. I'm going to put my entire force. And that is, a, again, Ryan, with that beautifully big, wide cast net. There is nowhere, well, not nowhere, but there's next to nowhere that Alan can go that he's not eating a harpoon. I really you know hope what, that. You know what I think sorry. Alan's going to do right here? We're going to see. Advanced sensors it, forward five straight that I was trying to say. Oh, yeah, exactly. Okay. That's exactly what's going to happen. Okay. We're going to see advanced sensors <laughs> push the limit. And a five forward focus token to try to blow past that arc. Absolutely, and then I he'll hope. just he'll just take his lick from from quick, quick draw. draw, which I mean that's fine. Then you get the PS zero crit on him. Omega leaders coming in from the behind to try to get the crit the target lock focus on them. See, see one thing that I I'd like to take a moment and pause on, if you gents don't mind, is the concept of playing against Alan the Hair Fun. Okay. Um, everybody knows that we love chirping Alan. We do. He is an outstanding human being. It's a national on, pastime for the PTO. It is actually. It is. It's. It's actually like a prerequisite if you want to be. You can't you wanna, be in the group you if you don't hate on Alan. Chirp yeah. Alan. Yeah. Um, Alan's a great guy. He's a fun guy to play against. He's never gonna. He's never gonna. Um, you know, uh, ridicule you for making a wrong decision. He'll probably usually let you get away with a take back if it's not too game state orienting. That yeah. kind of thing. Um, the biggest thing I just wanted to say, though, is that a lot of people will go up against a player like Alan, um, and they'll waver from whatever strategy they normally employ against either a similar list or another player, and just think to themselves, oh, I have to play differently because I'm playing somebody like Alan who has a reputation for being a good player. And don't get me wrong, his, his reputation isn't unjustified. Like, the man is a cyborg. Mm-hmm. If you let him, he will read your mind and just do whatever. Like, he'll just, he'll just do that kind of stuff, but... I guess what I'm trying to say is that um, whether you're on stream or you're playing a, against a, a great opponent like like whatever, you need to remember to just play your own game. There's the advanced sensors boost. Do you think we'll see a barrel roll here? I think we. I think he's going to focus. focus. focus yeah. And he's going to bank on arc dodging. No, three bank or five forward? No, five five forward. forward. Yeah, he's going to go the five. I think he's going to bump. And then he's going to bet on dodging one or two of those arcs, but I don't think he's going to dodge either of them. Now, th- would a barrel roll to the left, would that have pushed him between the two and three gunboats? I think he'd still be eating both missiles. I well, also think... He might be at range one of the two had he done that. I Maybe. Also, I also think that... But with no tokens for correct, quick draw. Correct. Correct. He would have still taken a harpoon from two and a shot from quick draw, no, and he would have had no one. defensive token. The worst thing I think here is that now Alan has a pretty poor choice for a return shot. Um, so he's got a range three shot coming in from Quick Draw. Quick Draw's got the eyeball, so he's going to take his FCS, which means Alan probably won't shoot back at him. But we'll yeah, I don't, I'd be really surprised if he shot back at, at Quick Draw at this situation. Right. Yeah, Ryan. I think Ryan that's can... the first time we've seen a below below all paint for Ryan. <laughs> that's what and that's what he wants to I see. I need some water. Th- it's getting salty in here. <laughs> so um, Alan rolls auto thrusters, and he's safe from that attack. Yeah, okay. Requires FCS. FCS. I, I'm, Alan's almost surely going to fire on uh, uh, gunboat number two because – that's where Quick Draw's lock is, I believe. Sorry, that's where Omega Leader's lock is, so why would you not focus fire? Actually, I don't think Omega Leader has a shot, but still, I, I don't shoot at Quick I would draw be shocked all. if that's in range. Yeah. Well, we got a few people from the chat claiming that Kylo is toast. I think that y'all be... Uh... Yeah, I think I think you guys are overestimating. I, I do think three of eight dice, still focus token, auto thrusters, and palp. He's not toast. He's taking damage this turn, but he's definitely not toast. Well, then as, yeah, he, as then he blows up, and then... I'm he wrong. is choosing to shoot a Quick Draw. Amazing. Bold, bold strategy, Cotton. Mm-hmm. See if it works out for him. Take crit on Natty's. That is the, and then there you go. Yeah. So, there you go. Okay, so no Omega, damage. At from... least he's not seeing a, re- a re- revenge shot from Quick Draw. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Omega Leader is out for Quick Draw, but in for Gumboat Two. What really surprised me about where is he? Yeah, we've got range. Should or we sorry, we a... ha- we do have arc. We're gonna see if we have range. Oh, we have range. Shark. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hit the camera more, guys. That's great. Okay, double check that Alan's you have arc. Just, Alan's just way too tall. This is where, again, a judge would come in handy. So, again, to our listeners and people watching today, never feel ashamed to call for a judge. Never feel bad about it. I'll give you a perfect example, Dev, if you don't mind. Go for it. So yesterday, uh, I have been flying big base ships a lot. And I'm very familiar with what type of 
base plate and arc rotation usually happens when you move a ship. I'm going to continue my story after Ryan fires his harpoon missiles. He's also very nicely showing us what he's using. He's stream friendly. He is stream friendly. So three. Oh, that's interesting. That's the first not. <laughs> yeah, that, there you go. His, he might have used it all on you. So Alan might owe you a drink if this uh -oh. comes out. We'll his see favorite. what happens. I'll take I'll take a regional die instead of a drink. How about that? Me too. I love those gl glitteries. <laughs> Uh, okay. And there we go. Thrusters for safe. So, uh, looked like, uh, that quick, that Kylo is definitely not going to be toast. So there's one, um, missile spent, which means that Ryan will have to disengage number four mm -hmm. and reload. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to get a harpoon from number two. It's probably what you were saying earlier, Tim. I'm sure Alan did the math in his head. He ran through the numbers. He probably felt confident that he was going to be able to survive this situation. Now, I'm sure he wasn't oh. expecting to take zero damage on that first harpoon, but the fact that he was able to is going to hype him. He still has Palp, which he's probably called, I think, for this round. I would say he called Palp. Oh. I'm glad he I hope gonna, he did. Definitely going to need That's it. That's brutal. Now, Ryan has been very, very good at whenever he shoots a harpoon, he always has focused target lock. Mm -hmm. He has had a lot of control, mm -hmm. but Kylo just took uh, four. I mean, he would have had auto, though it was, we didn't have had auto, so it was probably range two. It was. Um, so I'm guessing he didn't call help. And Looks he assigns I show you the dark side. Or I'll show you the dark side. Very good. <laughs> Thank you very much, Travis. It's uh, it's one of the better conditions in the, the game, if you ask me. A lot of people underestimate the value of the um, the other two crits in the game. Like, what people, a lot of people forget is that, like, against regen ships, for example, you use the, the two crits that aren't that um, game state oriented, like Stun Pilot and Shaken Pilot, and you can still put that damage card under shields. Mm -hmm. You get something like a Miranda or a Poe, that's mm -hmm. huge. Okay, so Kylo is down to two health after one round of shooting. Um, harpoons doing harpoon things. And uh, number two has the, uh, the crit assigned to it. Do we know which crit it is yet? Uh, blinded. blinded pilot is what he decided to use. Blinded pilot, okay. Because it's not as if damage cockpit's going to do him any favors in that situation. Yeah. So I'm, all, I'm I, it's looking like Alan didn't call Palpatine on the last shot. He might have used it somewhere else in the game um, and ate all of that damage, which mm -hmm. I'm surprised by, to be honest with you. Um, I thought he would have held off on it for the last turn to guarantee the evade and saw what happened on the first return because then he would have at least only taken the three. So number three, uh, new boat still has a missile. It's going to have to probably come about to do so. Um, Ryan's had a lot of reps with this list, so it's not going to be hard for him to get his boats back into formation. Uh, against me, he flew it very effectively. He had a widespread uh, net of engagement, and then he got them really close together, saying, "Okay, well, listen, you know, I'm winning on points now. So if you want to, you know, attack me, you've got to come at my boats all together." This is going to be a very interesting round. I'd like to see where. It's hard for me to predict where Kylo's going to go. And again, Alan said his primary objective was to get Quick Draw off the board. And then if he got Quick Draw off the board, he was fairly confident that he should or would be able to handle the rest of the gunboats with Kylo and Omega Leader. Mm -hmm. So the chat is correctably, uh, correctly uh, correcting my mistake. It looks like Alan used Palp on the first turn because he was in range two of both missiles. It didn't have auto thrusters. Had to use the Palp. Thanks, guys and girls, whoever, all of you. Oh, kudos for Ryan to landing his boats in range two and arc of uh, of Kylo on both goes there. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think I think he again he's he's been really good at casting that wide net, but providing you with very little option to get anywhere. So, I think you might even see him now slow roll them, reload them, and maybe maybe you take a shot at, or a pass at the shuttle and throw three harpoons into the shuttle if you can. I don't know. I mean, he's got options. He said the, the the gunboat has an amazing dial. Um, he only used one harpoon, so only number two has got to reload now, and it can it can dive in towards the the top of the board if it wants to to reload. The other two can 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 get into a situation where they can slam where they can fire them into the um, the shuttle. And I don't know. I'd like to take Palp off the board as fast as possible. So number two and number four have both shot. Oh, correct. Sorry, yeah. my apologies. Yeah, they right, both shot. Uh, yeah. Number three has his harpoon still, but they'll have to disengage and reload. Mm. Yeah. Uh, the chat is correct. Alan finished 12th and Ryan 15th after the Swiss cut. Um, yeah, both I, are, I just posted that, uh, the rankings. Right. Yeah. Both imp lists kind of squeaking in uh, past the uh, the cut leg. They're just based on MOB, of course. Mm -hmm. but, uh, all, the, uh, all the imperialists were right there at the bottom. Well, I think it had a lot to do with the fact that many of the imperialists have 
Um, Gunboats. It's well, it's tough. It's it's a tough MOV conservation mm. uh, proposal. Yes. For a lot of these imp lists. Yeah. Because um, almost every imp list is running a quick draw. Yeah. At the end of a game, when Alan's playing, he's either got Kylo left and Omega leader, or just Kylo left, which okay. means he's winning a game by fifty-six MOV, or he's winning a game by, you know. Not much. So I really like Ryan's move there. He's done. He did that in uh, a previous game that we saw him as well. Or maybe I might be confusing characters. But however, he's used his gunboat to both draw, uh, pro- potentially block Kylo's advanced sensors barrel roll left because he's reloading anyway. So he's boosted it in there. He set up a blocking position and he's reloaded all in one shot. The other boat is also blocking it right and reloading again. Is so. this Ryan's third time on stream in two days? Uh, twice. He's been on stream twice. twice. Yeah. I mean, he might not. I might be confusing. Maybe Don did the same thing previously. Uh, yeah. We were gonna have Ryan on in the last round in round six. Oh, but that's they right. Were, yeah. We, uh, unfortunately, some matchups were filled out incorrectly. We had to repair, and we ended up uh, switching. Right. Who was we were gonna put them on when we thought Ryan was gonna play four TLT Y wings. <laughs> which was gonna be three gunboats and Kylo versus four TLT Y wings. With flight assist astro, which would have been and amazing. Title and BTLA four. Oh. And unfortunately, Tristan uh, did get eliminated in top sixteen. He we did. Love you, Tristan, yeah. Either way. For the record, though, just so that any of their viewers... He had never flown on this before. Not just that. A big call out to the Grand River X-Wing uh, crew's ability here. Tristan blocked a Dash Rendar off the board with Y-Wings. Of course he did. <laughs> that, guy's, that guy is a maestro. Of I challenge you to do the same. Yeah. And, <laughs> and laughed and smiled the entire time. The whole but, time. Gotta love that, man. Completely unrelated to Grand River X-Wing, we have... Admiral Turtle holding down the fort on Ryan's side of the board. Oh, yeah, 100%. Absolutely. Right? I mean, they get, it's like I said yesterday, we were we did an announcement. We've got some really great representation from all the different communities across Ontario in the last two days. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got the boys from Muskoka that drove all the way down. Got zero. Room. Unfortunately, they made a big post about how much they had, how much of a good time they had, and they had zero wins between them. And if well. you can come and uh, have a great time and play some X Wing, like it's. It's just the best. And they got to let us know in the future when they're coming down so we can make sure there's some PTL swag for them in the future Oh, for well. sure. We'll send something up. Well, ho- and hopefully they'll come back for Nationals. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. We'd love to see them back for Nationals. Well, yeah. I mean, the the tr- the Breakout Con and, and VWTV Live are going to be at uh, Breakout Break- Con March 16th, and March 16th. Yeah. Which so we can expect also is another holiday of some sort that happens to do with fest- I don't know what you're talking about, Tim. festivities and libations, if I'm not mistaken. Canadian X-Wingers do not drink at all. Oh, not either. that's a terrible. Yeah, let's put let's put a Canadian Nationals on St. Patrick's Day. I, I feel like there's a an Irish holiday between day one A and day one B that may affect standings on the final day two. Well, it's handy for a lot of the PTL guys because many of us have a tolerance to alcohol that's normally reserved for Irish dock workers. Mm. So <laughs> I, I feel like we'll be okay. So this is uh, so Alan has bailed with Kylo, and that's an interesting positioning with Quick Draw, where. Kylo's hurt, and now I guess Ryan's switching targets to the shuttle to get it off to get Palp off the board. Which honestly, again, I love this call. I think he's going to get a quick draw shot on the shuttle. He's going to get a harpoon on the shuttle. The next two have already reloaded. They can long range scanner and they can fire two more harpoons into the shuttle. He can take the shuttle off in, in, uh, by next turn. That's Palp off the Palp off the table without losing anything. It would be a massive boon in Ryan's favor. But this is also the first time we've seen Ryan's gunboats really scatter. And not be in a good position. Mm. So quick shot has two hits. And the shuttle with uh, ooh, two shields. Two it's shields. <laughs> interesting, though, uh, as well. Kylo will be able to clear Harpoon. It'll be interesting to see if um, Alan will uh, safe Palp for the turn where he's clearing Harpoon. Mm, interesting. Because you're going to roll that die when you use the action to clear it. Oh, that makes sense. I did that twice yesterday when I got Harpoon with Asajj because I pushed the limit as well. Um, one turn, I really caught my opponent unawares because I, I, I cleared Harpoon and then I burn out slammed. Mm-hmm. Um, and they were like, oh, well, I was going to shoot at you, but you went through a rock. So now that happens. Uh, rules question here. If Alan decides to pop, help a crit through, which I don't think he will, but on that blinded, does blinded apply a trigger if you have weapons disable token? Because you're not actually off word an opportunity to attack. Correct. You have no opportunity to attack this turn, therefore it does not clear. Okay. Yeah. Uh, something similar actually happened in uh, in Mandalore. Um, guy who had a dash, burnout slammed, and he tried to clear burnouts. Uh, try to clear blinded pilot, and the opponent was like, uh, "Well, no, you have no opportunity to attack, so you can't actually then do it." Quick draw, losing one shield, triggering his revenge shot. Looks like he's going to take another shot at that shuttle. Uh, drops it like it hot. But that's all right. The shuttle can take it. The shuttle can tank it. That's where Alan wants that damage to go. I mean. 
the shuttle can take it to an extent, especially considering it's going to take one harpoon this turn. Yeah, I mean, Allen's really relying a lot on Palp's ability to mitigate that that defensive modifications for him. And uh, absolutely, Palpatine looks covers like the no. one one of the big gaps in Kylo's game is the fact that he doesn't have that evade token like Sooner Fell used to have. Number three, uh, I think Ryan has to teach me how to roll dice because I love the way he does it. Oh goodness. Yeah, I mean, I'd love to roll like that as well. Um, and so. that's four more damage into the into the shuttle. He almost took the shuttle off the table in that one turn with just two ships. Well, I mean, technically Quick Draw is two if you count his revenge shot, but yeah, Fair. I agree with you. Um, that's Which is why, I mean, I was asking you earlier on in the game, I asked you off stream, um, I don't know if I take a shot at Quick Draw when I only have one shot. I don't I don't see, I for me, playing against Quick Draw, I only want to shoot at Quick Draw when I can guarantee to remove the ability that turn. Or at least near is makes no difference. It's close to that. I do not want to give Quick Draw more than one crit kick at the can with that ability, personally. But we've been so seeing a lot of people taking pot shots at him. I, I've played against a fair amount of Quick Draws on many different occasions. And I've also flown as Quick Draw because I like the ship as well. If you're referring to the situation in my match where I had Asajj at range 3, Ketsu at range 3, and Quick Draw had a rear arc on Asajj, and I had... Um, two arcs on him. I had an evade token. Mm -hmm. So I thought to myself, you know what? If I can get one or two shields off of Quick Draw here, that's a huge help. Because every single one of those shield tokens that Quick Draw has is almost like having an extra ship in your list. You you really need to get as all of the shields off as soon as possible in right. one round if if you can. So my, my math was this. Okay, he's going to take his pot shot at Asajj, and I've got an evade token. If I can evade the first shot, fine. I took one, and I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to shoot him with him. Ketsu is going to spend his focus. I'm still rolling three dice versus his two. The math was on my side. The curse of the stream was not. So... <laughs> <laughs> and just to, just to your point, zero most uh, fifty five fifty five. I I would absolutely disagree with you. I don't think you should ever sit in a situation and say that somebody has already won when we have still have ships on the table. And, and it's not to attack you or anything that sort of thing. I just feel like as we've seen a couple times on stream, especially in Jeff Jeff Asiri versus Don K's match, we thought Jeff won on turn one. Look what happened there. Jeff uh, the next turn later, Jeff lost his quick draw on one turn. This is this is still a dice game. There's lots of positioning going on. Alan still has two really great ships on the board. The shuttle still hasn't died yet. To say that he's already won, I, I personally feel is erroneous. I think we should see what happens in a few rounds to see what's going to happen. And as a player, you should never count yourself out if you've if you've taken a, an early unfortunate turn. Now I'm t talking to myself here too because I'm pretty known around the PTL to be a table flipper. Famous. Famously, I quit <laughs> X-wing probably on a daily basis. I play one match. I hate this game. I'm never playing again. I'm selling all my stuff. But sometimes. You should just recompose yourself and come back in, and you have a chance. And yes, you are agreed, non Roncon. Sometimes games just are over at the beginning. Sometimes matchups are just over. Can I at weigh setup. in? Here? Yeah, but absolutely. Because we do. saw in our in your our last stream game, you with almost a full health assage just reached over the table, gave your opponent a handshake. We saw that also at Mandalore, where you can recognize where the game is done, and you'll tap out. I've played a lot of chess in my life. Um, it was the game I started playing against my father when I was a young boy. And there does reach a game, in, there's a point in any strategy game, uh, StarCraft, chess, X-Wing, you name it, where you tip your king, you congratulate your opponent, and you go out. The other side of that coin, though, is you need to be really sure about that moment. Mm. You, need yeah. to, you need to have done the math ahead of time. So I didn't call it quits uh, when I lost to Saj because I said to myself, okay, only one of his boats has one health. I can range deny his uh, – um, if I range deny one of his missiles, put the other one on a rock, and then shoot the other one, I can, I can be fine. Um, in round nine of the System Open Series 2016, me versus Pete Smith – if you watch that stream, um, <laughs> it, the game was over for me in, in like halfway through. But you stick in there, and sometimes things can happen. Mm -hmm. And there was some comment in chat about like playing a game out is a good idea because you can learn from it. The cut of a regionals is not the place to be learning how to fly your list. Like if you don't recognize when the game is over and you're in the top cut of a regionals, like that's not a great place to be having a learning experience. Also to the same point, I did say on the stream when you did that, I went on the same thing. Mathematically, when you didn't take that boat off the table and you took four damage in return, yeah, he had missiles, you had one glitter stim and two health. There, it wasn't, why go through it? Again, I'm not trying to ex exacerbate anything or, or, or 
come at anybody in this also, chat. I'm I've just play- saying is that, as you were saying, I've played against Allen enough times to know that Allen's not done. Until he's never you, done until you get 100 points uh, yes. of his list off the match. He's still in the game. Yes. And if anybody's played against any Imperial <laughs> Ace, especially a ship that has advanced sensors and a dial like the the Tie SF does, you never know. So that's a really interesting move. I expected a three bank from the shuttle, maybe a stress. He's setting up a block. I think it's gonna be really interesting. But he's eating two harpoons if if uh, Ryan doesn't have any other targets. I think he's looking to block quick draw and then and then put some damage in with his other two ships. I think you're looking draw, him to, and now based on this maneuvering, I, th- I feel now I know why he shot at quick draw last round. I think he wanted to make sure he could at least strip one shield off of quick draw mm-hmm. because he's looking for a block. And then between Omega Leader and Kylo, who's going to advance since his barrel roll back, hard two with the green with focus token already. He's oh, looking. Oh, here to do we that. go. Here's Kylo. So a range so he's one shot one. from Omega Leader for sure onto onto quick draw is going to strip a lot of those shields away. And if he doesn't have a shot. That's going to be the dream for Allen. Mm-hmm. Okay, sorry, Kylo might be K-turning or Talon rolling. Yeah, that makes more sense. A Talon roll from Kylo. Which is why he didn't bother to um, push. To push. Yeah. Uh, Allen learned that lesson earlier this tournament. Speaking of uh, learning lessons while you were at regionals, he uh, learned that if you push the limit and then and then perform a red maneuver, that's a white two forward. So I, I was right next to Robin and Allen. They were playing that do game. Do we have a sloop from Quick Draw? We do. We have a sloop that does not clear. No. It does not clear. So we get the bump. As I was saying earlier on the game, Alan has a lot of reps in with quick draw, so it's not as if he's not, uh, you know, it's not he's not aware of the dial on that ship and the capabilities of what it can. I agree with exactly what you're saying, uh, Death Review 1991. Shaking hands with your opponent means that I agree with you. You've learned what you needed to learn from the match. You agree that they're going to win and that you – it's also a little bit about respect as well. Like, you want to respect your opponent for defeating you. Um, so and you shake their hand to say, listen, you know what? I made some calls. You made some calls. You came out on top. Congrats. You don't just shake your hand and say, F this game. I'm out of here. Like, I shook Ryan's hand, and I looked at him, and I said, good luck in the top eight. Because that's what you do at Absolutely. that point, right? That's how we roll in Toronto. And 50 reps s- in, what do you have to learn from that situation? That it's a tough go, and you're probably not going to win it. Yeah, I got a lot of reps with Shadowcasters, so I don't know how much I can learn at that point. I mean, there's always something new to learn from every game about situations and calls and stuff like that. But, yeah, I mean, at that point, I was just like, okay. So Quick Draw's only shot here is on Omega Leader, and it has to be on modded. Ooh. And Ryan is Ryan his has, dice. Ryan has shown us he doesn't care about mods. Drops all like sure. hot. Mods just, don't matter when he's playing. I think I think Alan is still trying to understand what just happened. Two hits and a crit. He's like, wait well, a second. Normally, I roll like this. Yeah. I mean, uh, I don't think he expected him to go as fast. I think he expected a slow one forward, two forward. That's unfortunate. Alan's got to spend everything right here. Yeah. 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 Or oh, he only spends two. Yeah. Quick draw takes. Yeah, he, wants to, takes he two. wants to keep Juke active. Yeah. I think so. No, he takes one. Yeah, he did two hits in a Oh, he called Palp on that. No, no, no. no, no. Spend his focus. focus. Yeah. It's two focus. Oh, sorry. I thought there were four hits. I'm no. a crazy person. Yep. No, he's going to keep his evade token for Quick Draw's revenge shot as well. I think we've got a rock in play here. Yep. Looks like it. Obstructed, but because of lightweight frame, it doesn't really matter. Correct. Unless that's range three. Obstructed. It must have to be. Oh, that's right. He's got a target lock. And three, three hits. There's that yeah, Alan Fung must... lock. Ooh, okay. absolutely. So right quick draws in the hull. But we'll get the revenge shot range one on Omega, on Leader. Omega Leader. Again, unmodified. Now but he, does have, he should have a target lock. Well, at yeah, point. because Quitra has FCS, so he's moved his target lock. That's what number six is. Mm-hmm. Six is uh, Quick Draws. Now I think Allen planned to be out of Quick Draws arc at this point, but I don't think he expected him to go quite so fast. I think maybe he expected a two straight from Quick Draw. So spending the That's target four, lock, reacquiring like the target hits. lock. Ooh, right, you really know how to roll some dice. I love it. This might be a dead Quick, um, and that's gone. The Mega Leader's gone. I think. Spends the evade. evade. Takes three and goes. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. That could have gone better for Allen. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So Ryan really knows how to roll some tack dice. I like it. I like his style. Yeah. No, he's definitely had a, a lot of really good dice results so far. Um, his piloting is definitely also helping him in that regard as well. Oh, absolutely. I'm not, again, I will never take away from his ability and his skill. Yeah. I wasn't trying to. No. I was saying is that sometimes it's really skillful to just be the best dice roller, too. Yeah, rolling, so, rolling good dice helps. Yeah. Four hits each time you roll is always good. <laughs> so Alan, with four, with five hull left on the board, eating a harpoon with the shuttle right now. Eating potentially nope, two. No, a primary weapon from the new, because they've spent their harpoons at this point. Oh, number, right, number three is the one that re- has to reload still. Yeah. Two hits. And again, two hit, hit crit, actually. Yeah. Oof. 
Okay, so that'll proc the harpoon condition, which will do damage. Oh, we yeah. took it off before. So one damage plus harpoon. Yeah. Sorry, uh, it. hit crit. No, what I'm saying is that'll do damage to quick draw, and quick draw also takes one more. Quick damage. draw also takes one. Yeah. So quick draw down to one health. Uh, so now we got Kylo against the world. I'm gonna go make sure they 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 catch that. They no, quick draw his. Yeah, he's got two damage cards on him, they, man. They said it. Okay. Yeah. Well, I all hope right, you all are it. strapped in because we're about to see 40 minutes of Kylo running around the map and destroying a whole list. <laughs> Kylo versus the news, I don't think, is the end of the world. I think that Kylo is maneuverable enough that it he might be able to pull it out. I think if it Quick was Cross uh, got no more shots. If it was an advanced optics, Kylo, I would agree with you. Yeah, Rose Squadron, nice. Um, can Kylo solo three gunboats? I mean, the potential is there, uh, but the way Ryan has been flying his gunboat so far, I'm not entirely confident. Well, one and three will have to uh, reacquire target locks on Kylo. I mean, Kylo has the potential here for a, uh, a two-turn right. Um, if I'm Ryan, I'm, I'm probably either one banking left or two turning left. Uh, just going to disengage with, uh, with quick draw at this point. No reason to even keep him in the fight at this point because the news can can handle it uh they've got enough hull and uh and munitions to deal to do the job here but kylo cannot make a mistake well no i mean this this goes back to what i was saying about ryan playing his own game keeping his own strategy under wraps and, and not really changing it based on the fact that he's playing a, a player like alan right so <coughs> i mean ryan has definitely Ryan yeah, they, has definitely stuck to his uh, to his game plan, and, and again, he's been doing very, very well. He's casting an amazing net with his gunboats. He's he's got great arcs with them. When one is reloading, two are facing in the right direction. Like he's cycling them. It's it's very it's been very clean. Kylo's got a great open dial right now. He can do a three bank green boost around the rock, come around, and hopefully catch a gunboat out while Quick Draw has to reposition right. Or he can, because he can't reposition right now. He doesn't have that advanced sensors with that stress on him. So it's going to be very tight decision-making from Alan right here, and we'll have to see if Ryan can catch him out, because even one harpoon and he's toast. So I'm just going to um, pause on a moment, because Edward A. has said something that I that I really would like to touch on. A lot of people are talking about, oh, well, this list, you know, gunboats, you need this against them, you need that against them, you need this against them. Um, I really think that people are flying overly uh, cautiously against gunboats like they are a great platform for harpoon missiles three of them in quick draw is definitely a great list uh i'm i'm more partial to the rage electronic baffle uh quick draw than the ps9 or sorry ps11 quick draw i should say but um i think that there's a reason that we're seeing so many pose in the meta as a result of um, the gunboats. But I think that it's important to pause on the fact that I think what the gunboats have also done is helped the meta stay so diverse. Like yesterday, we were in this room, and it was the polar opposite of regionals from the year before. Well, we Because there were almost 85 to 90% of the lists at Toronto regionals last year had a big bay ship in them. And this year around, the number of big base ships was minuscule compared to last year. We're seeing a lot of these quick draw gunboat lists being absolutely, and Pose as well, be absolutely destroyed by NIM and the Trajectory Simulator, right? Oh, yeah, they every, get massacred. Massacred. Every other top eight table has a NIM, if not two Trajectory Simulator NIMs on them, right? We are showing you an outlier match here. We, uh, starting next round, we are going to be having. Well, this round we're having mirror matches, and starting in the f into the fours and the finals, we're going to have Nims on the table no matter what. Yeah, Ryan Ferguson's got this far, and then like if we had a final match top championship table, which was Ryan versus one of the Nim Mirandas, I'd love that because then it would be all the marbles on the table. Let's find out which what of is the new the emerging medalists is going to be on top. Mm -hmm. Compare that to the results from Chicago. 
which from what I understand, going into the top cut, were primarily Rebels. Mm -hmm. Because they banned Trajectory Simulator, essentially. The Marshal went out and said, I don't agree with how the rules work, so I'm just going to arbitrarily change the rules for the game, which is really unfortunate for those 200 people. It is and it isn't. You know, it's going to provide a lot of really great data for I, FFG I doubt to make that type of decision later on the road, right? You've got data for data from tournaments on when it does work, data from tournaments when it doesn't work. Let's compare that versus the player experience at the tournaments where it doesn't doesn't work together. And I then, don't think that FFG pays that much attention to that data. I don't think they collect. <laughs> so if you guys don't mind, I'm just going to go ahead and take us back to this match because I'm less interested in, in listening to you guys talk about FFG as I am about the game. No offense. Now, no, I did fine. not expect a joust here from, from Kylo. He's only got two arcs on him. The Gumboat 3 does not have a harpoon. And he's getting only a two die from Quick Draw. This might here be... Here we go. Oh, Drops die, it like it's hot. Two die from Ryan Farmer is what we should say. Oh, hey, yo, hey, uh, Alan's cool. dice show up. All right. Like, it's... It's okay. He's only got to dodge another uh, Harpoon missile. It's, nope, it's, because no. three is re needs to reload. Three needs to reload. It's a range two shot. He's only going to eat two dice. Hopefully, he'll be able to make that. I'm pretty sure number three is okay. Number uh, three has, is fine, oh, yeah. but fine. he doesn't have a Harpoon. Yeah, he's right. Yeah. But is Alan going to spend that focus? Nope. One hit. One hit seems good enough to me. Does not go through. I wouldn't have spent the focus either. Nope. It's a good choice. I'm not happy with Alan's positioning here. He's, no matter what, he's going to have to deal with Harpoon's next turn. Uh, depends. Depends on where the I mean, it does go. have a five straight. So chat's in asking there. about Trajectory Simulator. In uh, Chicago, it was ruled that trajectory, trajectory Simulator did not work with Genius after you moved, and that is key with PS10 NIM to be extremely oppressive and abusive with bombs. Yeah, I mean, the, the way the cards are written together, they should work together, but we'll, we'll see how the... the it turns the out uh, so a means, proton bomb I, followed up by two harpoons is really brutal. Yeah, I think Simi's right. I think we should focus on the, the, on the match, match in front of us instead of, like... Personally speaking, or if you guys just want to talk about bullshit that doesn't matter the entire day, that's kind of thing, too. Um, but I'd rather watch a, a really good played, a really so well-played match by two great players. I then where do you think Kylo is going, guys? What, what sort of uh, pre-positioning, um, what sort of movement are we going to be seeing for him to... Get back in this game, get quick draw down, maybe start putting some damage on some news. He's got to kill. Well, if he, he wins if he's got two news left on the board. Right. Well, I mean, right now, 100% Ryan is in the lead. Alan is completely behind the eight ball here. All of his news have full health. Quick draw is hanging on by a thread, but he do no, no longer needs to do any work with quick draw. He can just cycle out and just fly around and reconverge. He, uh, Alan has to do all the work right now to try to claw this back. Ryan has to just keep doing what he's been doing, which is playing clean safe and cautious x-wing and he's going to be coming on top now i don't know if i'm in this situation i'm terrified right now but i probably advance sensors my uh my kylo to ship left and just three bank out behind the rock and come in behind all three of those gunboats and if ryan thinks that's going to happen he's probably going to too hard to the right and too forward slam to block it i don't know we'll see what happens this is what makes it super exciting because there's a lot of options with three slamming ships and one advanced sensor ship that can push boost barrel roll and has all the greens in the world. So he could do a barrel roll boost to ship left up board. Yeah. And then a hard two or a hard three. Yeah, he could do a ton of stuff. I mean, he could also have a five straight planned in there. Who knows? And and none he of He could have a K-turn and, and an advanced sensors boost forward to K-turn and behind yeah. ships. The, I mean, the problem the, the problem with flying the silencer, and my, I've only had a few games with it, mind you, but I am in love with the ship. Um, the problem with flying it is that you almost have... You have a maneuver option paralysis in so much that you can do so much. If you don't have the reps and the, and the conditioning and the mental fortitude in, it's very difficult to fly the ship. Uh, at least for me, for somebody who is like, oh my god, I can do too many things. And that's also why I've had to back off flying phantoms because I just I can't think. It's too much to think about. And, and six, seven, eight, nine games in. Your uh, brain I, melts. I'm not ready to fly an advanced sensors, Kylo. Why um, do you think I do two big ships? That's, yeah. That's, yeah, I mean, two do big. Do I want to boost? Yeah. Do I want to rotate an arc? Yeah. And that, and, and, and this, I, honestly, the same thing can be said about Ryan's list, too. The three slamming and ships, trying to keep them in formation, also does take a lot of mental conditioning. He, and he's managed to almost, he hasn't bumped them once on stream. He's kept them in great positions. They're always cycling and moving forward. Uh, and it's, it's a great option. So this one, he's probably going to reload, I think. There's more to a tournament than what lists you show up. When you talk about running six games at X-Wing in a day, you have to mm -hmm. plan on a, a win situation. Like I was speaking to another player who was like, oh, I'm going to show up with five ships. It'd be great. I'm like, right. Showing up with five ships is great. Mm. When you're doing a casual league night. Yeah. Or you've got two games in front of you. Or you're doing a store kit and you want to win some focus tokens. You're playing three matches. Tops. When you play six or eight matches in a day. Yeah. 
five ship lists will melt your brain. Yeah. But you know, again, that's that's everybody's play style. Um, this chat's going on and on about. Oh, yeah, um, question for you there. Oh, a question for me. Would I make any changes to my Lancer lists? Excellent question. Thank you. Uh, zero moves. Five 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 five. Uh, the answer to your question is yes. Uh, right up until the uh, tournament, I was actually uh, going back and forth between dropping the Burnout Slam on Asajj mm. and Fearlessness, and then instead putting Out Maneuver Interesting. on Ketsu uh, for the matchup of uh, boats and aces and all that fun stuff. Um, I ended up going with Fearlessness and keeping the bid for the result that I ended up. Um, uh, making because fearlessness is amazing when you have two arcs and it ended up really saving my bacon in a few matchups. Everybody always tries to get me to get countermeasures mm-hmm. on my casters. I'm never going to do it because countermeasures mean that you give up and are just going to take missiles. Whereas an engine upgrade or a burnout slam, you're just like, you know what? I don't like your missiles. I'm just going to not get shot right. at. So I like this by Alan. It looks like he's advanced and forward for a K turn, I believe. Looks like it. Ooh, beautiful. Yeah, he's going to be in range one of that lead of that boat back behind it, and then he's going to be back in behind them, unless he bumps, which would be pretty brutal. Well, I think that they're going to start proxying ships. Yeah, they want to be very sure about this one. Answer to why I don't put PTL on Ketsu is because uh, then she can go slowly and stay behind Asajj. When a caster has pushed a limit, it's locked into its greens. This is a great move by Alan. I Absolutely. love it. He might actually get it to finish off quick draw. You will notice that was character. one of the moves I was trying to talk about earlier. I know. Man, I'm just saying. <laughs> just, saying. just saying. Just Hashtag just saying. Just Look, saying. with both of you on stream, we're just having so much salt. How about we have some positivity, boys? I don't think there's too, too much salt. We're going on, obje- we're going on constructively and objectively on a few of the meta things. Um, this is uh, this is just great positioning mm-hmm. by Alan. He's going to get to move Ooh. after all those boats next. And now turn. he's in behind them, exactly where he wants to be to chase yeah. them, to whittle them down until Ryan potentially gives him another shot at his quick draw. I'd be again. shocked if quick draw has range here. That might be a perspective yeah. angle thing. I'm but even then, range auto range three absolutely only two dice at the back. Of course, uh, Ryan will probably drop double crit, but that's fine. <laughs> uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, Tim predicts double crit, and we see hit crit. I was half right. Almost there. <laughs> so here it comes. <laughs> Alan <laughs> saying, oh, my God. There we go. So here it comes. All the dice. There we go. Auto, Auto thrusters, thrusters evade. I'm not going to lie. I would have loved to have seen. And as long as I wouldn't have loved to have seen, but it would have been kind of fitting <laughs> if that would have been a double blank for, for Alan. Auto thrusters for one. Kylo and Ryan a direct sm- hit to kill him. Kylo Ryan smashing. That's a lot of eyeballs. Yeah. Oh, one, one. It, that's... That's right. just that's ladies and gents why you need to modify your dice. And that was a rough round for Alan. Okay, Tim yeah. going under the table. No can't comment. believe that. No comment. Just brutal. But I'm fairly certain uh Alan would rather have had that result than had a double stressed Kylo. Uh for the push for the focus. I don't know. It's a tough call. He's behind the eight ball. He needs to do damage. Well, I, I, I gotta correct you, Kimi, Simi, because you gotta remember about Kylo's build. There's no such thing as a double stressed Kylo when you've got prime thrusters. Fair. He, he could have focus, target locked, done a two or three forward green, smashed into new number two, and range one with focus target lock number four. Wouldn't get it off the board. Would be eating a range one, an, uh, a modified range one shot in return, but. See, Kylo's a great ship, and one of the members of the PTL, Aaron, um, Dave Grohl, Poppenhausen himself, actually took the time to write out and extrapolate the 40-something combinations of EPT uh, system and tech combinations that you can put on Kylo. And one of my favorites is his favorite, which is the um, Expertise Kylo. Mm -hmm. I love Expertise. Yeah, the Expertise Kylo with... Um, advanced sensors and advanced optics. You think to yourself, oh, well, stress ruins you. Yeah, but you know what? There's lots of different options in that matchup, and I'm, you're still Kylo, right? It's nice to hear that people are looking at two Lancers. Um, I call the list Mean Girls because Lindsay Lohan's my girl, and, and um, it was the last movie that she had before she went crazy. So, Plus, Ketsu and Asajj are both ladies. Mm-hmm. They're both Sith, uh, mm-hmm. Bounty Hunter, and they're both Ruthless. Um, so, but going back to the match, this is really where a lack of a K turn on the gunboat really forces Ryan into slamming and repositioning and 
really having an interesting go of things. And I, I really want to see how he's going to get these guys back into position as he scrambles. I think for the first time when we've had him on stream, seeing those gunboats scatter yeah. and trying to uh, get back into the match. I think you've used the exact word that I would use to describe what he has to do now, Devin, it's scatter. I think he's got to scatter them. Um, and I think what might be interesting if he tries it, I might try it, is uh, with Gunboat 4. He could hard to he could hard to, to ship left. Gunboat 4 already bumped. Good one straight. Oh, he's already operated with that one. So he's going for a... Oh, he self blocked to, yeah. to get an arc on, on Kylo. That yeah, he's trying to block move. the two bank. That's a great uh, move. Or be behind Kylo. It's a very great move. That makes a lot more sense than what Alan I was about to say. moving all of the ships. I was going to say he can slam in behind to come back around and chase Kylo. Yeah. But that's why I'm commenting and not at top eights. Mm. Well, you, your broken foot also had something to do with that. <laughs> no, I was going to bring defenders again. I probably would have lost. Hey, to, the guys were talking on the stream a minute ago. Yes, defenders Defenders Ad are great against munitions. Advanced sensors. He can still do his maneuver with the uh, oh. prime thrusters, doing the hard two, clearing the stress, mm -hmm. bumping the, the gunboat as so the gunboat does not get a shot. And uh, he looks like he'll be putting some damage into... Hopefully. Hopefully into number two. Then. Unless Ryan throws another hit crit out the rear of uh, Quick Draw and kills but him this turn. Quick Draw has yet Quick to move. Has to move That's Quick true. Draw has to move. We'll see where he's going to be. He's going to go one forward. Uh, well, that may take him out of range. That is a very astute observation. Zero must five 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 saying it. He's Lindsay Lohan. I doubt you're a hot redhead watching an X-ring scream. I'm sorry. I don't believe you. Well, I mean. Uh, two health, quick draw. Uh, two health. Uh, Kylo Ren is making all the moves he needs to stay in this game. Yeah. Ooh, is that a hard three from Quick Draw getting out of there? Or he could just be sleeping. Three no, he's sleeping. He's sleeping. Yeah. Uh, I saw the red and the green, the three, and that's uh, made my assumption. Yeah. Well, the hard three was a bad call either, but Very I don't think he would have done it there. So. Well, it means that he's going to set up a joust and hopefully yeah. PS kill Kylo Ren. Absolutely. He, and, has, uh, he, has, he already has target lock from fire control. That means he just that, needs to focus. I mean, Ryan is, again, making a really good call. Alan He's, needs to really fly. There are two hits on the, on the row. Look on, at that. On some, the new. Some damage goes through. Perfect. Two on number two. He's also got new number three about to do a, a too hard turn and just line up a perfect uh, harpoon, harpoon missile, missile, which has been reloaded, yes. Yes. But we may see a prime thruster. Oh, not a prime thruster. She's no longer stressed. We could see an event sensor's boost and a, a three or four forward into that new. And behind it. Or he could do an advanced sensor's boost, push for a focus, and then do a three bank, and then be behind it. Like, again, the silencer is a really cool ship. Like, thank, it's really, really interesting. Until you get it on the table, you don't really see just how many different positions it can go in. It, it feels like flying a Phantom again. Like, it feels like flying an Echo again. She can, you can go so many different places. I'm just, I'm really looking forward to seeing, like, Alan is flying for his life, and he's making right calls i really like that uh that sloop from ryan and it's really going to put the pressure back on alan i think absolutely yeah. alan now has to reactively get out of there with kylo he can't take those shots because now it's three dice instead of two absolutely yep. like, and that's he gets the to way close the distance again yeah, i agree with you even pushing one damage through is hard and he's gonna have to engage one of those gunboats and get out of there i mean ryan also only needs one crit to go through with a direct hit and it's his game do we know how any of the other matches are doing on the uh, on the floor there, Devo? Have we had a chance to look at how the Nim Miranda mirror or any of that jazz is doing? I could run out, have a look. If that's uh, something that might be interesting to chat, we'll see. Uh, I can tell you that Nim is probably doing well on all of them. Hambo and 77 US, Hambone 77 US. I, I say that as her being my absolute draw-droppingly draw number one favorite and ship. And we've got... Eventually I'll get the point out. Five of the um, top eight are Nim. I know the five of the top eight are I ran into two names yesterday. Neither Ooh, what I was trying to say is it's not Blasty because she is, without a shadow of doubt, my absolute favorite ship in the game. Echo we're talking about here. I don't mean that she flies like it. I'm saying the options with the bank boot decloak and all the maneuvers. Kylo can be in so many different places. It's very difficult for your opponent to, th to tech against. It's also sometimes very, very critical and impor important for you to know where you're going to be. There's lots of options for the board state for, where, for, for, um, for Alan to fly to. Yeah, I mean, Alan's in... Uh, there's no question Alan's in a tough spot here. He's, mm -hmm. he's got 25 not, minutes I'm to not kill. To, uh, I'm not trying to sugarcoat it. He's really behind the eight ball here. Yeah, he's got to kill Quick Draw and a new to go to Final Salvo. Um, so he's basically got to kill Quick Draw, number two, and another one. Well, to win, yeah. I, I mean, mean, ideally, yeah. he if he goes to Final Salvo, it's six versus three. Um, Final Salvo is what you have left on the table, not your entire list, correct? 
I believe so. Yeah, it's points killed at time, isn't it? Okay, well, then that's definitely not going to go in his favor either. So I think right this time he has to go for the win. I could be wrong, but um, number two is the one that's right in front of him. So, <laughs> Hambo and seven seven never. She's the best. She's number one bay, only followed by the Countess. Yeah, Countess is a great ship. Um, there was a gent playing in a game next to me yesterday. It was uh, Ryan Dwarmick versus three defenders. It was two glaives with trick shot and Countess with a crack shot. I loved the list. He took two harpoon missiles and lost one shield. Nice. So, yep. Defender uh, life. Uh, oh, update from the floor. Okay. okay. All three other games so, uh, have been wrapped. Nim Miranda, Aaron uh, lost, so Justin McLaughlin, Nim Miranda beat Nim Miranda. So Justin M is out on top on the mirror Ooh, match. Our number Smith, one seed uh, is out. Lost. Oh, Pete, Pete Smith won. So Nim Miranda, or sorry, Nim beat uh, Bo Dash. We have uh, Kelvin beat Billy Chandler. Nim beat Nim. Okay. And then uh, the we're, we're this, this, match. One. this is the, the. I'm glad we got this match on stream because they're all wrapped. Okay. All the other they're games are wrapped up, matches. eh? They're all well, half-hour matches. We've actually been noticing yeah. on stream with the Nim Mirandas or the Nims anythings, they're almost entirely always a 30-minute match. It's almost like when you get eight guaranteed damage on the first turn, the it's, the it's, match isn't going to go to 75 minutes. It's like when Jeff and Don played yesterday. It's almost like when you put seven missiles on the board, you're going to get a lot of damage really quick, and the game's going to be over fast. Well... I mean, there's something to say to be said about that too. At least you know, gone are the days where there's an hour and an hour and fifteen minute match of positioning and nothing dying. Now you get to see a little bit more action. It, I mean, it, the I feel, listen, the field the field was amazingly diverse some yesterday. Some of us prefer four on four hockey. Some of us prefer shootouts. But we're not going to say which ones are which. Four on four is right, well, by the way. It's well said. I'm actually, going to say it's four well on four said. is right, by the way. It's tra- shootouts is a travesty. Anyways. Well, there was a, there was a point in the NHL when there was no shootouts, and it would just be like infinite four on four hockey until somebody won. Strip it away, three on three. You know when you have an open. And you know field. who stepped in and made a difference? It was the TV producers. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at you, Travis, the VTL TV Live guys. <laughs> Don't talk bad about TV professionals. I'm in television. All right, so let's go. So, oh, okay. So he put himself in front. Um, oh, wait a second. So four. This boost is gonna give that shot that that ship a harpoon. Interesting. Option. So, I guess I think he, I think I think I think Alan is now forced to be aggressive. I think he's going after Quick Draw. Well, at one point he's dodged the harpoon from number three. Yeah, yeah. that's what he was. He couldn't dodge four. Yeah. Uh, he's so he's eliminated one uh, harpoon shot. Unfortunately, he's, he's hoping g- for dice. I think at this point. Yeah, he's giving himself the the chance to kill uh, Quick Draw here as well. Uh, uh, Quick draw just drops it like it's hot, and I think that may be the game. Uh, yes. Yeah. 